Hey guys, I'm Seema from Seema Clay Jewelry. In today's video, we are going to learn how to make a mermaid, how to use Skinner Blend to make different body parts of the mermaid. We will see how we can use glitter with polymer clay to design the fin of the mermaid. We will also use tiny micro beads to give a beautiful effect to the tail of the mermaid. We'll make lovely curly hairs which are shaded and we will design the hands, a necklace, a tiny flower, everything to just make our mermaid look very beautiful. To learn all this, come in and gift yourself a hobby that turns you into an entrepreneur. I'm going to start with a sketch of my mermaid on this tracing paper. This tracing paper I'm going to use as a base for all my work and sculpting my mermaid. I am using different colors of Fimo translucent polymer clay to create Skinner blends. These Skinner blends will be used to create different body parts of the mermaid. To make the tail of the mermaid, Cut a triangular piece of clay from the Skinner blend and roll it on a flat surface to form a big teardrop. Once done, measure the size of the tail by placing it over the tail. I have decided to reduce the size of the tail of my mermaid, so I am going to make it little smaller than the template. I want to make fins for the mermaid, so I use my Zato knife and cut different shapes of fins from the polymer clay spinner blend. I will use my different tools to shape it and then use my needle tool to create a veins kind of impression on the fins. Now this is how it looks. I need to make few more fins from the polymer clay spinner blend. So I cut and use a hollow pipe to shape the fins and then I use a needle tool to create the impressions of veins on the fins. I'm going to insert a pin to connect the lower part of the mermaid's body to the upper part. I would love to apply some glitter to the tail of the mermaid to make it look like a real fish with scales. I will also apply some orange micro beads over the tail and then I'm going to bake at this stage for 30 minutes. For the baking temperature, please follow your clay brand manufacturer's instruction. Once baked, you will see that the colors have become very bright and now you are free to touch your clay anywhere. To design the mermaid above the waistline, mold the clay as per the template and press upon the pin on the tracing paper. Shape it using different tools. We are going to use a skin color polymer clay to make the hands and other parts of the mermaid. For that, roll a ball of the clay and turn it into a log shape. Shape an arm and palm by pressing and pinching as per the template. We will be designing the hands just how we do like a human doll.
then connect the left hand to the body and same way we need to design the right hand use your tool to shape the hand use a sharp scissor to cut the polymer clay and shape the fingers now we will connect the right hand to the mermaid's body this is how it looks right now to make a head of the mermaid roll a ball of skin color polymer clay and press upon the eye pin insert the eye pin if you need an extension to make your mermaid into a pendant while making face pinch out the clay to form a nose shape it properly with your tools and fingers Oops I forgot this step earlier in the sequence Sorry about that I have pressed pink color micro beads on the clay to give it a grainy texture Now I'm using this hollow pipe to cut two circles place them together and shape them with a ball tool to create a cavity and connect to the mermaid's body To make the eyes of the mermaid, I have used white polymer clay, cut to small circles, and then hand painted the eyes using acrylic color. I have then baked these eyes separately before I can actually use them in my mermaid's face. I'm using the pre-baked eyes and pressing them upon my head at the correct place. to make the eyes for the mermaid I'm using a small Swarovski stone chain and a tiny pink flower to make a necklace for my mermaid To make the eyebrows for the mermaid Roll a tiny flat ball of clay into a thin noodle of say approximately 2 mm and place it above the eyes. To make the hair of the mermaid, I have used polymer clay spinner blend. Cut a small strip of clay and roll it on the surface to make a noodle for the hair. Then take a needle and twist the clay over the needle in a circular fashion to make the curly hair. Make lot of hair like this and place them on the mermaid as you like. And the mermaid is ready to swim in the ocean. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful. If you really did, do consider subscribing. We will keep coming up with lot of new stuff in polymer clay. And hey, don't forget to hit the like button. If you have any queries or any requests that you want us to pick up in our future upcoming videos, feel free to comment below we are always listening to you and we would love to reach you back and one last thing we are based out of bangalore and we take professional classes in polymer clay jewelry designing so if you are looking for professional classes in polymer clay jewelry designing there we are at your service and we do take face to face classes in polymer clay jewelry designing 
We also take online classes which are as good as face-to-face -face classes. If you need more information on the subject line, please feel free to reach me anytime. Till then, enjoy your polymer clay and take care of yourself. We will meet soon.